Hey guys, hey, what's going on here? Welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, today we're going to be checking out a, a new little uh, gadget that we got in the mail. The guys over at uh, Trumpo King uh, sent us one of these uh, Trumpo Kings, okay? And what it's used for, it's used for stacking meats, okay? And uh, usually for folks who are interested in making a dish called tacos al pastor okay so you if you've seen pictures of it before it's uh meat stacked up on a spike and it, it usually it ro ro rotates around with the heat uh, crisping up the edges and they cut off the edges uh, to make tacos and things uh this one doesn't rotate but it is a, a interesting device as far as stacking goes okay i'll put all the uh, information in the description block if you're interested in checking out and, and if you decide you want to get one okay uh, it's stainless steel. It's um, made 100% in the USA. It's got two uh, spikes on it, and uh, you know, one taller than the other. Uh, I think one's 15 inches, and the other one is uh, 11 inches. I'm not sure. I have to double check on it. I'll put it at the bottom of the screen. Okay, but what we're going to be uh, doing, we're going to test it out today. Now, I see a lot of guys using this on Facebook and on Instagram, uh, where they're uh, stacking up different things, ham and. Uh, pulled pork chunks and um, chicken and uh, all type of meats and things okay I've even seen somebody stacking lobster tails on it all right um, most of them cook on either the Weber or the pit barrel or the green egg or something of that uh, nature okay I am going to be testing this one out today on the Rectech 680 okay so so we're going to be uh, making our dish in the Rectech today and what we're going to be cooking today is we'll be cooking stacked pineapple char siu chicken all right so what this is what we're going to do we have a pack of hawaiian pride char siu sauce all right and we are going to mix that with some 100 percent pineapple juice okay and we're going to season our chicken with just a little bit of uh spg um simple uh salt pepper and garlic powder and we here we have between four and five pounds of chicken now we have a mixture of chicken breast here, and we have a mixture of chicken thighs here. So my intentions are to uh, alternate the chicken, uh, breast thigh, breast thigh, breast thigh, so that the thighs will uh, help the chicken breast stay moist and, uh, and, and not dry out, okay? Also, we're going to slice up uh, a pineapple, and we're going to put pineapple slices uh, periodically throughout the stack and uh, on top so that the pineapple juice hopefully during the cook will help marinate the chicken okay so hey don't go nowhere sit back relax watch us do this short prep work and it's cooked and then we'll come back for our taste test and I'll tell you exactly how the recipe works out and how I like the Trumpo King so hey don't go nowhere
guys, so we're done with our cook. And I gotta say, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this. And it smells great. I know if you ever smelled that uh, char su marinade, it has a great aroma to it. Um, we put our, some barbecue sauce and about, you know, thinned it out with some pineapple juice also. So we got pineapple juice that was in the marinade. We got pineapple juice that was in the barbecue glaze. And we just kind of painted it on. We did two um, glazings right at the end, okay? About 15 minutes apart, letting one set and then doing another 15 minute glazing, okay? So as you can see, it's got some nice charred edges here. The pineapple on top is kind of charred. And uh, I know normally with these, um, with these Taco El Pastor, you're supposed to kind of shave it off while it's cooking so that the exposed areas of meat will also char. But I just wanted to let this one cook all the way through uh, just so I could see how well it did on the Rec Tech. Um, we did three stages of temperatures on the Rec Tech. It was on the Rec Tech for about two hours and 45 minutes. Uh, the first hour, I had it up at 350 degrees. The second hour, I backed it back down to 245 degrees so I could use the extreme smoke function on the Rec Tech because the extreme smoke function only works between uh, up to 250 degrees. And then at the end, we uh, went on to crank the temperature of the Rec Tech up to 500 degrees to let some of this, these areas went ahead and char and uh, so we can set the glaze, okay? So let's go ahead and trim off some of this and have a taste test, all right? So. Oh, that looks good. I love the pink color of that meat from the marinade. Now remember, we got pineapple stacked here. We have uh, boneless and skinless breast meat and boneless and skinless uh, thigh meat, okay? So, and that looks good. All right, man, that looks great. Smells fantastic. And it's moist too, it's not dried out at all, so. All right, all right, so. Let's go ahead and have a taste all right, test. Alright, so all I have here is just a plain old flour tortilla that I kind of warmed uh, a few minutes ago. It's a little bit cold now, we're going to go ahead and use it anyway. So we're going to take some of our, well first of all, let me lay down a little sauce, okay? So I have some of the sauce that we used when we were glazing it. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my tortilla here. Then take some of this succulent meat here. Don't forget the pineapples that was cooked with it. All right, give another one of these nice charred pieces here. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we got here. Wow, this is delicious, man. The char siu marinade, the barbecue with the pineapple, uh, used to thin it out. The um, SPG, everything tastes fantastic, man. The chicken is moist, and uh, I love the little charred edges that's inside of the tortilla along with the uh, meat. The I believe the thigh meat did a good job of keeping the breast meat from drying out uh, since we layered it. So this came out fantastic. Gotta have another bite. Mm. Well, I can't say enough. This is fantastic. Now, do you need a trumpo king to stack meat? Uh, maybe not. Maybe you could do the same thing with some skewers. Um, if you can hold it, have the skewers hold up vertically. Uh, you could probably do the same thing with a rotisserie. Uh, and it would rotate round and round. And then you could probably shave off meat as it cooks and stuff. Uh, so you probably do that. But the trumpo king uh, definitely did a great job uh, of providing... Uh, a vessel in order to uh, hold the cut meats and the juices and things. So my uh, pellet smoker wasn't even, there was no, no grease or anything running out of the pellet smoker as usual. It was all trapped inside of here, okay? Um, also, uh, this was the, the short spike, and then there's a taller spike. Now, the reason I had to use the short spike is because the taller spike would not fit inside of the Rectech. It was uh, just a little bit too tall. Okay, so you say, well, why did I use the Rectech? 
because it's a different type of heat, right? And, and that's why I used it, because it's a different type of heat. I've seen pictures of this, like I said, being cooked on the Weber, on the pit barrel, uh, with that charcoal type fire and heat and smoke and stuff. And those look fantastic. A lot of charred areas and things. This one here wasn't as charred as the Weber or one of the other uh, grills would probably provide, but nonetheless, it came out fantastic. Uh, I think I could have probably uh, shaved off some meat during the cooking process and then let the outside uh, cook some more. But you know, pellet uh, cookers cook a little bit different, so uh, it would have been in there for an extremely long time. So, But uh, I like the device, so you have to determine for yourself if you would like to get one or not. Um, I want to thank the guys at Trumple King for sending this to us and letting us try this out. I think it's a, uh, it's a cool uh, accessory to have. Uh, uh, I'm going to put the contact information for Trumple King down in the description of this video and across the bottom of the screen. So if you're interested, check it out. They have a Facebook page and an Instagram page that have plenty of pictures. Okay. Also, if you're interested in getting a Rectech grill, check out the guys at RectechGrills.com. Uh, they have some fantastic stuff. Love the new smokers that are out. Uh, whether or not I'm going to swap over to a, a 700 or one of the other ones from the Mini and from the 680 that we have, I'm not sure. Uh, the, the 680 is working fine, so I don't really know if um, I don't really want to spend the money to get a, a, a 700. So uh, the wife would probably, you know, cut my throat if I got went and bought a, another smoker. So, but this was a fantastic cook, and uh, thanks guys from Trumple King for checking us out and uh, the guys at Rec Tech Grills. Okay, well that's it. That's all we have time for. Hey, like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. And this fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. Hey, question of the day. If you had a Trumpo King, what would you make besides Taco El Pastor? Okay? So, hey, hit me up in the comment box. Subscribe, comment, like, dislike, however you want to do it. And uh, I want to thank you guys for stopping by. So, hey, as always, we'll see you guys around the smoke. Got an idea for stacking some ham on this bad boy next time. Ooh. Good eats.